<laughs> no, it's weird. It's like a breeze. <laughs> it's weird because like a breeze when someone walks by. I must feel like breezes when no one walks by. All right, hi. This is Eric. Um, I've been to this museum many times since it opened. Are you in one of these pictures? Is that anyone? I just heard something. Did you hear an audible? Somebody's opening the back door. I heard like a. I heard something move, like a just. Just like There's someone wood just coming just. in that attic. It's me breathing and yawning. Can you just get on the bicycle if you like? Does anybody have a problem being touched? Can you touch one of us? Please? Touch me. Can we signal any of our equipment and make that go off so we can see it? It's really warm right now. I'm getting that anxiety feeling right now. You know how I get it, it's like getting bad. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the chest. Is that hot in here? I gotta it's step out. It's Rob. warmer than that, but right I, gotta, I gotta step out. Right here's a little hot. Like, Rob knows this happens to me. Yeah, I'm gonna ask you to close the door. Thank you. Can you move an object? Like all the visitors that come to the museum daily. Okay. And it's so it's it's and it keeps going. <laughs> it's it's one way to create it's one way to create a being without intercourse. So let me just tell you that. Okay. And it goes back to the golems of Israel. It doesn't have anything to do with your ear, does it? <laughs> <laughs> what I didn't say shit about my ear at the Queen Mary, did I? <laughs> Yeah. Why is there? What did I say? I did. This guy instigated the whole thing. <laughs> I, I don't even remember. Was I that drunk? You were getting tea bags. Yeah. In my ear? Oh. Yeah. That's funny. No. I, remember, I told you it was in the corner. I had the SLS. Right. And there was a stick figure. It was sitting there in the corner, and it was just standing there, moving around. And then you're like, "Well, let me know when I get to it." And you're walking over there. I'm like, and then all of a sudden, it like raised up. And then its crotch is like about in the space there. Like, oh, look, it's it's getting getting <laughs> but what does that have to do with my <laughs> ear? And then it was on the show. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. so it just be careful because you like things exactly in your ear. <laughs> this is going into the documentary, but no. <laughs> Rob, can you tell me about this specific spirit box, please? This specific spirit box. So this is a hack shack that was uh, hacked by me and uh, it scans radio frequencies to communicate with spirit. Um, this just scans through uh, frequencies. Hack shack, okay. All right, that's good, all right. We're gonna film it real quick, so don't no, start it, it yet. No, it's it, my battery is up. Are you serious? Did it get drained? No. 
So this is Eric Van Leer from Golden State Haunts, goldenstatehaunts.org and Valley Investigators of the Paranormal. I'm here with Rob Hernandez from PCH Paranormal. And we're at the Mystic Museum and Bearded Ladies. It's been a crazy night tonight, absolutely insane. A couple of people actually left because they were feeling a little bit uncomfortable earlier in the evening. We're gonna be doing a lot more investigations. So follow us on goldenstatehaunts.org, also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're also into horror and the occult, then definitely follow goldenstatehaunts.org. We plan on doing a lot more investigations this year, so just keep your eye out. Thank you.